Environmental officials at Fort Jackson, South Carolina have been cleaning up an old fuel depot for about 10 years. As James Williams reports, cleanup workers have abandoned machine power and turned to Mother Nature to get the job done. This abandoned fuel depot used to supply the entire installation. Six underground storage tanks held 72,000 gallons of fuel. Fort Jackson eventually switched to above-ground tanks, but that didn't stop fuel from leaking into the soil and groundwater. Lahidi Estaba is the environmental cleanup manager at Fort Jackson. He says they have used machines to help clean the groundwater, but now they're turning to Mother Nature to do the rest. We planted these trees, 175 uh, it's a combination of poplars and willows, almost an even uh, number of each. The process is a fairly young science called phytoremediation. The trees basically just draw the water and they don't metabolize the constituents, they give them off. Just checking the uh, irrigation. Researchers at the U.S. Department of Agriculture have spent about two decades studying the ability of certain plants to clean up or remediate soils contaminated by heavy metals. I first learned about it at a Princeton groundwater course in 95. These poplars and, and uh, willows are uh, particularly suited for volatile organics and uh, they use them a lot for chlorinated solvents and petroleum. It's a low-cost method with benefits to humans. Better air from them giving off oxygen as well. Fort Jackson does not get drinking water from this location, but by law, the installation must restore the area to drinking water standards. Estaba says it's difficult to predict exactly when, but at a capacity of moving up to 800 gallons a day, he believes the trees can remediate more than 90% of the area within three years. James Williams, Fort Jackson, South Carolina.